Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 that I Where's UK mod. So, as you guys can see, I have all the storage prepared over here now. I wonder if that other command actually works on this one as well. Um, I actually have it saved on my desktop. Uh, it's a folded name, so I just have to quickly get it. I think last time I tested it, didn't work in this mod, but we'll see. Ooh, that does not that does not look well. Um, I don't know why my mods keep doing this. It's like the game's bugged for some reason. And I don't sync my stuff at all, so there shouldn't be that issue as well. Ah, oh, there you go. That looks way better. As you guys can see, now we have... Oh, what's this lag all of a sudden? Whoa. Okay, that was a, a ton of lag. But yeah, as you guys can see, we have our drinks and stuff over here. Uh, food, meds, farming, mods, tools, ammo, weapons, vehicle parts. I put building supplies and forged um, ores and stuff there. We have our resources over here, miscellaneous, and then all the stuff we can sell at the trailer. Um, I want to see if we can't sell as much as possible. And then perhaps buy some clay if you're lucky. I mean, we can just go mining for clay. I know that's another option. But I don't know, with the shovel, we're going to need a ton of stamina. So we might just have to use all our coffees just to dig up all that uh, clay. But if I can actually get that clay, that's going to help us tremendously. Now, to be able to get this first aid thing over here, guys, we need to get our intellect. I think it's intellect, right? Yeah. Intellect all the way to level 8 and then surgeon. Um, and then we'll be able to finally start doing the HD class over here. I wonder if I shouldn't take some coffees with me instead of this. Just for the reason that if I come across a ton of uh, dirt, I'll just cut away, dig up all that dirt, and then voila. Uh, but yeah, we need to be careful. We don't have that much ammo left. I need way more of the... Come on. I need way more of the blunderbuss ammo. Ooh, don't break your leg. Don't break your leg. The, the sooner we get more blunderbuss ammo, the better it's going to be for us. Hello, hello, hello. And a few left clicks as well. I need to remember, you don't just have to power attack. You can left click as well. Okay, so the next one is this one. I should actually take that red mark away. The next one is this one down the road. We don't have a vehicle yet. I should actually see if we can't make at least like a mini bike or something. Um, if I don't have to run away from a threat that I can just drive away, it's going to be much, much better. So this is the next place. I'm so afraid of dogs and stuff being in the backyard over here. Technically, all I have to do is run around with my pistol in hand. Because if there's a dog or something, I can just shoot as much as I want. Have we done this one? I don't think we have. We have done this over here, but I don't think, you know what? It's going to wake up everything, but we need to kill as many animals as possible for that one quest. No, we have not done this house. Before. How did I miss this? Because this one's the next one. That's actually bad. I need to make sure that we loot everything. I can't afford to leave anything behind right now. Um, the only thing that, I've done, that I'm not doing right now, guys, is I'm ranging, not ranging cars. Hello? I'm trying to not range cars right now because it's going to take too much time. And we don't really need those parts right now. Uh, that being said, we do actually need like a ton of mechanical parts, electrical parts. Uh, you do get that from looting these actually so as long as we just keep looting those we can get more from ranching but looting does give you a fair amount so there's no point in going out of your way to wrench right now especially early game when you don't have the best of tools i'm just so bewildered at the fact that i haven't looted this place yet have i looted that one though yeah i have because that's the one we uh, would finish on the roof but we did that room first okay and we do have meat and stuff so it doesn't really hurt just quickly skinning this chicken. I think I did too much damage to it on the first attack. I shot it twice where it was only necessary for once. I need to be careful as well. As soon as I use my power attack, I need to make sure I have my gun on me. We do not want to have all of a sudden a zombie attack us while we're busy like this. Also, I think you can wrench tires. I'm not sure. I think that's how you get tires in the game. You have to wrench it. So I should really be carrying my uh, wrench on me at least for stuff like that. Is this zombie in front or is this zombie on the side? I want to make sure there's nothing encumbering or uh, just getting in our way right now. Hello. Man, there's so many pure eyes over here and a few awesome ones at that as well. Why are you fast? 
I didn't do anything to her, but all of a sudden she has a problem with me. Hello, hello, hello. Guys, for those of you new to this mod, if you see this guy and he stands up, like he's hanging in the air, run. He's the boss version. I need to be careful. Oh, wait, we have looted this. I just never got the... Oh, okay. Yeah, we have looted this one. I just never got the back. No wonder I marked it as done because I did... Okay, that makes sense. Remember that I couldn't understand how I could have missed the whole pure eye in between. That saves me a lot of time as well, so we don't have to do... Ooh. No, it's not this one. Um, I think it's the one with the dustbin in front. Uh, this, uh, well, it might be this one as well, but the one with the dustbin in front actually has loot in the roof. Like, if you break away the roof, you actually see some extra special loot. I already looted that right over there, right? Yeah, I, I should have. I think I was in this area already. Guys, we need more rucksacks right now. We only have the one, so it opened up a whole row of slots. But the more slots we have over here, the less we have to worry. This stage, I'm super worried because we keep on running out of space. Pretty rude, I should actually go check when does he reset. And then while we're at the base, you know, I'm actually going to do this now. Instead of actually, 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 I'm actually going to do it. Because we do need a wrench quickly. And we can dump our stuff while we check. I want to see when the trader resets again. I think he's this direction. Um, I need to see or make sure when he resets again. And then if he perhaps, if he has reset, if he has clay. But I do need to be careful running around like this. Because it's been a really long time since we've seen any dogs. Or like real big threats. And that's actually kind of weighing on me at the moment. Because when are we going to get those guys again? Come on, stamina, please. Here you go, thank you. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? How about no? Okay, so I could technically oh, bicycle five thousand. I could build one if I can just get more. Um, see, this is this is a, a, what you call a dumb purchase. We have the chassis. We just need wheels and a handlebar. But now I'm so tempted to buy this because at least it's a it's also extra storage. But I can't remember if the storage is big or small. That's a that's a big, very important thing. Uh, rebar, do you have concrete mix? I need to cons uh, start considering a base for the Horde Knight. I might as well just hide from the Horde, but I want to see if I can't face it. And, uh, okay, you reset day 7. That's way too late. Way, way, way too late. Okay, well, so let's just see if I can't afford the bike. Um, or at least the building supplies. We need to be able to survive this Horde. I have more or less an idea of where I want to hide. It's either going to be in the roof or on the top over there. If we don't get ourselves proper resources. So if I don't get a wood base built, that's where I'm going to be. Right on the top. They're still going to wreck the place trying to get to me. But at least we should be able to survive. I'm just going to do that just in case the structural integrity is waning. I don't want to get in here and all of a sudden the whole place just goes boom. Okay, so we need to dump a ton of stuff quickly. Need this. Resources um car parts ammo goes up here this we're gonna sell that's technically tools um and tool parts but i'll just drop that there for now i'm not really interested in what i drop where just that i drop it and have enough space and then farming boom boom very cool okay so i came here for cash right we need five thousand we don't nearly have enough. Okay, look at this, for example, right? The schematics that we got this from, uh, from I think, would have got, given us like 60 to 100 coin. Now, if we actually combine these, I'll do it in the trader, uh, we should be able to get a little bit more than we would have gotten for the schematics combined. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like, for example, when a game, uh, when the gun doesn't sell well, but you scrap it for parts and the uh, parts sell well. So if I were to go like this, recipe, scrap bundle, that sells for 370 compared to, I would have think, I think I would have gotten like 200 or something. Stop and the more I actually asshole. invest in this perk, I need to actually invest a lot in... Where is the trader one? It's Lucky Looter. No, it's not Lucky Looter, right? What's the one? I keep forgetting. It's different saves and stuff. What is the one you have to... Oh, better body. There you go. As we invest in better barter, it might actually open up new stuff in the inventory over here. Oh, I'm so close. Wait, why don't you want this? Oh, okay, you do want it. For a moment, they went on that thing. Okay, so um, instead of the bike, we do need resources. 
Um, where did I see Reebok? Okay, now how much rebar can we get? If I were to go for a hundred blocks, one thousand, and then we'd need times twenty, two thousand concrete. So how much is two thousand concrete? Gonna, no, you don't even have that much. And I don't, I don't even have enough for that. Okay, so that's about 55, 27, 28 blocks worth of concrete right there, and we can't even afford all of it. Um, so I wonder if I shouldn't go. Let's see. You know, instead of, I think I'm just going to spend it on the night. That gives me a chance to just invest in other stuff. Because at the moment, it's going to be a waste for me to buy resources if we can't even build the whole thing. As I've noticed, I do this in the videos a lot. <laughs> I love playing with my beard or my stubble. Um, The bicycle is a definite no-no. I wonder if I shouldn't at least try this. Then I, At least I can, the entrance where the zombies enter the place, I can reinforce that at the church. That way, if a wandering horde comes, I have to break through the reinforced concrete. So I think let's do 20 of that. And 20 times 20, that's 400 at least that I need to be able to afford over here. 400? Yes. Okay, I should actually go as much as possible then. Nope, only 50. And then with that, we should be able to buy a little bit more rebar. Uh, 20? No, 10. Okay, yeah, we need no a ton of cash, so hopefully when looting and exploring right now, we're going to get way more. I think I've already gathered everything over here that needs gathering. Technically, we could spend the Horde night over here on this uh, rim, but if I fall off, then we're screwed. So I need to find a place. Uh, we've already cleared this place out, so the zombies shouldn't respawn. Um, I actually want to check quickly. If we were to stack up right here, what's on top of this place? Do the zombies have a way up to us? Or is this like a really easy place to just survive the horde? <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I had the wall just in time. I think that was the wall. That should have actually broken my leg. That's still a bug in the game. At this height, I should have definitely broken, but I hugged the wall and that actually slowed me down considerably. Okay, I need to do this. Come on. Oh, there you go. I don't think the zombies can make it up here, can they? I don't want to use this as like a defense and then the zombies get to me super easily. Um, What is this made out of? Wood. Yeah, let's just see what's down there. That is iron. I want to make sure that if I go in... Oh, 1,000. So we should be pretty safe on this route. And if something happens, we can just jump down and jump on that roof. Let's go roof jump, uh, roof hopping. But I just need to make sure we have a ton of stamina drinks on us as well. Oh, wow. I never realized this. When you're walking on wedges, walk on the corner. If you walk on the normal wedge, you just slide. But the corner, you don't slide. No wonder zombies don't fall when I just use the corner like that. In the past, I've used the corner um, as a way... Like, like I put two wedges next to each other, but then the zombies don't drag all properly. Now I know why. If I don't slide, how are they going to slide? Okay, so basically over here, what I want to do quickly... Uh, do we have a nail gun? I want to make sure at least my base over here is more or less fortified. Um, tools... We don't have a nail gun or anything, right? We can take this before I forget. We do have this one. That's all we can do right now at the, at the moment. And I need that clay. That ding sound you're hearing is actually from the clay quest. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to reinforce. I don't even have to actually place these blocks in here. All I have to, well, except for this one over here. All I have to do is upgrade the damaged blocks, but I'm going to need cobble, I think. Oh no, cool. Okay, nice. That one wasn't damaged. This one's not damaged. Nice. See, I want to make sure... They might actually start going into the walls over here and then trying to break the block on the further side. But let's hope, for our sake, they actually go for this, the entrance. Because all we need to do now is do this. Um, I think we can block this off so it's only a one entry. There you go. Come on. But now I'm thinking, should I make it a half block, half block, so it's like a weird entrance for the zombies? And then put two blocks like this so they have to break both, both blocks to get. I think that's going to work even better. Nice, John. Okay, so we're going to go for on-face rotation. There you go. 
See, now you just place blocks here and the zombies try and break this instead of the blocks that I don't know why they do it, but it works. Um, let's see, resources. Uh, we need a little bit of cobble, just a little bit. Oh, we do have cobble. It's a shame we can't turn cobble into clay. Okay, so all I want to do is just make sure this is upgraded. We're going to repair that. See, now, unfortunately, we still have to upgrade these to reinforce concrete. But the ones, the rebar ones right now, we don't have to worry. They're going to stay like this. Now, what I actually want to try and do, we're going to put the wooden blocks over here. And then on the other side of the wooden blocks, we're going to put some quarter blocks. No, not centered. I want some normal quarter blocks, but I don't think... Yeah, it's just the upgraded version. Um, this might still work if we do this. It's going to force them to uh, go, uh, actually go onto this ramp. Because you're gonna, you guys will see what, what the zombies are going to do. They usually come and they do this. They don't just break the wood. They jump on the wood and they try and break this block. Because they, for some reason they feel like this is just too much of an entrance. So if I can now do this and make the, force them to actually go on top of it. And not to the sides perhaps. This might be more of a defense. I just need to make sure that all of this is reinforced concrete just in case. You know, if I could have afforded more re uh, more concrete mix and more um, rebar and stuff, what I would have wanted to do was to actually make myself just a made-up base. We basically just take over one of these pure eyes on the side. You take out the ladders inside, and you only make them uh, the entrance that you give them, they use. Uh, if we could have done that, that, that would have worked as well. Okay, so the rest will upgrade later. It's day six, and we're going to have to fight the, uh, the horde on the roof. There's no other way. Building supplies there. I'm going to put that there as well. Why not? Sellables go over here. And voila. Okay, so that's 13 blocks. We need to be careful. I'm busy using up so much space on me right now that later it's going to be a massive problem. You know, the problem over here is the, uh, the fact that I'm also getting stuck. If there's another way to put a block here that the zombies still jump on top of it, that would have been awesome. Like a uh, half block or something. Because now, when I want to get in here, I need to do this and then place two blocks down. And you guys saw how fast those radiated uh, phantasms were. It was like way too fast. Okay, so this is the POI we need to do next. We're supposed to go up the ladder over here. But I first want to make sure we loot the... You know what? Since we have to go this way, let's just go this way. Um, We can also go from the garage side over here. But we're not meant to go... Oh no, there's no garage this side. Am I getting my pure eyes confused now? Oh yeah, there was resources. Yeah, I was wondering what the hell I'm thinking right now. Uh, basically, what I want to do is make sure that when we come across this, these are ones over here. Remember guys, we play with loot respawn off, always. Uh, but I don't like playing on with loot respawn on because who's refilling the stuff? So I'm making sure that we loot the stuff like this, the air conditioners, and then wrench it. Because look at the amount of electrical parts we just got. So that's definitely, definitely worth wrenching right now. Um, I'm actually thinking, let's just drink the coffee. I want to save the coffee when we come across dirt so we can get some clay. But for now, this is more important. Wait, what? Yeah, we can't actually get any up from the bottom. I was right. I knew there was uh, there was a, a blue palette like this that I wanted to get. But I couldn't remember which PRI it was. And then technically this as well. We need to range this. Now guys, um, apparently, I didn't know this until someone commented... Power attacking like I'm doing right, uh, like I was doing just now gives you less resources, but it is much faster. So you have to weigh the pros and cons. I actually prefer doing the power attacks as, as long as you don't run out of stamina. Because look at that. Even with a power attacking with a wrench, my stamina goes up again. Um, it's just much, much, much faster. If you have a ton of stuff to wrench, then you don't have to worry about losing out. I just got an engine. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's definitely going to come in handy later. This one as well. We need to make sure that we're uh, crouched at all times when we're doing stuff like this. The noise is just so much that the zombies will wake up. Come on. Wait. Was I not supposed to fall in here? Because for some reason, that's locked. So you can fall in there if you want to, but you're supposed to go through here. Yeah, this seems right. That is a fake floor. That is one fake floor if I've ever seen one before. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so uh, we're going to go for a iron arrow. This should kill the lady in one shot. If we're lucky. 
Okay, unfortunately, we can't switch fast enough to uh, choose a different arrow. Oh, crap. Okay, you're just a weak one. Let's make sure our light's on. For some reason, my light just went off. Unless I turn it off and I forgot to turn it back on. Okay, so we're down here. While we're down here, let's just clear out this whole place. I want to make sure. I think you can actually loot those as well. We want to make sure that we can grab the pistol on any notice. On shirt, a uh, short notice. Make sure there's nothing to the right. You don't want to be killing a zombie to the left all of a sudden getting attacked from the right. It's a shame you can't loot these like in zombie days. The radiators. I mean, it really doesn't matter that much. After a while, you'll be able to range it fast. But for now, that's going to be one of those things that you don't want to range. It's going to take too long. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the cooked food in this mod. Okay, now if I'm not mistaken, there's zombies around the corner over here. And there's zombies up top. No, I was wrong. Okay, from, uh, from that, I confused this PRI with one where there's actually a living room on this side. Um, okay, so we need to make space. Health flare. At first, I just want to scrap as much as possible. I think let's just do this. I'm going to scrap as much as possible. And if I really have to, I'll drink the steroids that I have over here. Okay, so we're supposed to go that way. This is locked. So this is where we fell in. I want to make sure you follow the correct path, Davia. If you follow the path, I actually like your eyes where it tells you exactly where to go. Obviously, it's more realistic if you can just explore on your own and find the a secret stash. But have you seen how many YouTubers just completely missed the secret stash because they went in the POI the wrong way? Okay, so this fell somewhere. Why is that there? Fell. What was that just now? Oh, there's two of them. I, I was definitely like, what the hell? It sounded like the sound was coming from on top. But guys, I can't wait for Alpha 20. The textures alone on the zombies, making them so much more realistic, is going to be awesome. Although, I really hope it doesn't lag too much then. Because with the amount of effort they put into the design of the zombies, it's going to really suck if all of a sudden the thing just lags to no end. I mean, if you look at the mods where they add more stuff, already there's lag, right? Just with a little bit of stuff added. Now imagine those textures. As soon as they added the HD textures, you could already feel there was something more laggy. Um, but yeah, now it's going to be Ultra HD, basically. It's going to look so much more realistic. Even the radiator. I saw that the radiated ones, they even said, uh, currently Alpha 19, the radiated zombies look animated. Uh, but in Alpha 20, it's going to look way more realistic with the radiation stemming from inside. So it's going to be like a glow-in-the-dark kind of zombie. But it's just going to be a green glow. I actually look forward to stuff like that, but I just hope that our PCs can handle it. So many people already can't play this game just because their PCs are just strong enough. And it's not that it's a weak, uh, weak PC. It's just that the game is just way too high maintenance. Okay, so we have to go behind that bookcase over there. I just constantly want to make sure that we're not getting stuck with a tough zombie. Especially on worried uh, settings, the zombies are much tougher than usual. Oh, yes. Thank you, HD Forge. HD Rock Launcher. What I'm really looking for, though, is the Pump Jack. With a Pump Jack, we can get all the clay we want. Well, obviously, it's very expensive to make. I don't know if it also requires steel, but the Pump Jack is very expensive. But if you can finally afford to make it, oh, it changes your life so much. See, this is basically what I did with my base right now. These are half blocks. So the zombies have to destroy twice as much to try and get to us. Um. Oh, I was like, where am I supposed to go right now? It'll kind of help if I actually look to the right as well. They just turned this light off. Oh, yeah, it's this place. Uh, there's going to be zombies falling from the roof. I should be safe as long as I hug the wall over here. But let's just hope there aren't too many tough zombies. We want to make sure that we are reloaded for this one. This is definitely a no-no. Uh, only one zombie. That's rather surprising. I think let's just get a clear advantage point. If we can kill the zombies from on top like this... If we start making enough noise... so we, uh, I'm going to kill... Oh, okay, now that's too fast. 
Um, let's do this then. Was that the only zombie? You're kidding me, right? I mean, awesome if it was. Uh, that makes it so much easier. But that's actually kind of like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, anti climax. Guys, I wish my brain doesn't sh uh, wouldn't short circuit like this. Um, even if you guys sometimes don't notice it, it bothers the hell out of me when I stutter. And I pride myself on my language skills, but these days, ooh, that's stress. It's all to do with this damn stress. If I didn't stress as much, we I wouldn't have that much of a problem right now. Yeah, I want to see what's up there. No? Yeah, just the wood, thank you. Uh, it's going to suck if there's still a zombie up there, but this is the only way to find out. Okay, so I can't jump up here. Because if I do try and do that, um, yeah, we're just going to bump our head constantly. Okay, it seems there was literally just the one zombie. Now imagine this mirror over here is actually like a secret mirror where the zombies spawn from. This would actually work in Darkest Falls with all the demons and stuff. That would be actually kind of creepy as well. Okay, so we're going to wear the right glasses for this. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay, now this is actually bad. This one is 1410. 1310 but two shots compared to one shot that's a big difference um but yeah guys this one is the best one i keep spraining my legs now i won't be uh now i won't be spraining them anymore oh wow that actually said untouched before i did it. it i saw the untouched and i stopped the looting even though it was looting i don't know why that looted just now come on we need better gear i am encumbered so i need to be careful before re uh, returning outside we don't want to be encumbered at all in this mod guys Especially with the tough zombies wandering around outside, uh, the dogs and all that stuff. I mean, the, the biggest problem or threat for us right now is those um, phantasms. As soon as they catch you, you're dead. Yeah, I should probably quickly go drop this stuff. This one, nah. I almost never... Okay, but this one we can repair. This one is... Damn. I want nine more rounds. For some reason, I'm really unlucky when it comes to that. I need nine more ammo because we are running out. Well, not really running out, but we're very close to running out. Okay, so we're going to put that one on there. And then this is Armor Pocket Mod. Nah, just going to give me one slot. That's no po There's no point in that. I mean, the one point might help a little bit, but not at the moment. Um, Dog food, I think that's for the XP elixir. Yeah, let's go. I just need to be careful outside now that I don't run into any tough zombies. Especially when you're encumbered like this. Okay, we should be able to actually exit over here. Yeah, we can go through the front door, if, uh, I think, if necessary. Boom! Okay, that's actually way easier to exit than I thought. So the next house that we have to do... I want to see if we have done that one. If yes, that's awesome. I think we've definitely done this one before. See, I want to make sure that we do block by block by block, so we don't miss out on any POIs. The only way that's going to happen is if we keep track of where we have and have not been. Yeah, I think we've definitely done this one. Okay, let's go. So if you hear noise in the background, uh, the people we're renting from are finally starting to sort stuff out at the back. Uh, basically, we had a hailstorm or uh, what do you call it? Um, a hail burst. It's almost like a rain burst or storm burst, but it was of hail. And the destruction to our cars, there was this. Both our cars have dents in it all over. If we had uh, undercover parking at the back, we could have actually saved our cars. But all their stuff's there. And now they've finally started to move everything out, so that's why there's noise. Even though it's now quarter past seven at night, they're still busy moving stuff out, just making space. Okay, I should probably just quickly use this stuff. This is left click, health supplies. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, first aid kit. Nice. But it says craft first aid kit, so that doesn't work. You have to craft your own. Okay, uh, what else can I do? This is resources. Well, it's it's a good resource, guys. We need the stone later on. So for now, I'm not complaining about anything we're getting. As long as we're getting something, I am cool with it. Okay, so we need to make sure everything we can sell, we sell the mods we have to equip to armors and stuff. So unfortunately, we can't get a ton of cash from that until later. We didn't get a battery, right? We just got the engine. Okay, so now we can start doing this again. Man, I love this. Double click and all your problems just go away. Meds. Farming. 
I'm going to put the canned foods over here as well. Moldy bread. Oh, yeah, we need like five or so. No, we need the moldy sandwiches. It's been a really long time since I've actually seen those. So I don't know where to get them. Okay, so this one's going to help us out greatly later on. Uh, Cobble, we're going to put here. I should technically be able to make a cobble base for the horde. What if I shouldn't try at least making like a basic design? If it fails, then I can fall back to the roof. And we can also even use the ladders to get onto the roof. You know what? It's, only, it's a shame that we don't have a claw hammer yet. We need something that's faster with upgrades. But if I can make a horror defense, I think that's going to be much more entertaining than just chilling on the roof waiting for the horde to pass by. Okay, the shades will keep for now. And the gun, that's my gun. Almost dropped my gun. But yeah, I think um, we're going to do this next time, guys. Instead, oh, this has dried nicely. Uh, we don't have that much concrete mix left, especially since I'm doing this right here. But this is essential. We can't afford too many zombies breaking through over here. And I'm thinking of leaving this open at the back. This way is a nice uh, way to escape. And this over here. I just hope the zombies don't use it. Let's hope the zombies actually see this as a path to come here. Oh, they have to break through two blocks to be able to get to me. So uh, if this defense works, we might actually be able to use this as a war defense. Where they have to break the blocks in front of you. And also, I saw Reach Gaming, guys. This is a uh, biggest South African uh, Seven Days to Die guy. Um, he did a base where he showcased someone else's base with ladders. It gave me such an awesome idea, like a gauntlet that I want to build. But I'm going to have to build that in vanilla, I think. If it works in vanilla, it, work, it will work in most mods. It's just in Darkest Falls, most designs don't work. But if you know, if it works in Darkest Falls, you know it works all over. But I was thinking, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to call an episode here, guys. Um, next episode, we're going to keep on going further. If you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.